bless you richly in Jesus' name. Welcome to the Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. God bless you. I'm sure you have this book. If you don't have, get a copy and get for someone. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for everything you have been doing in our life. We give you all the glory, honor, and adoration for your mercy, grace, and power. Daddy, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, as we go, open our understanding. Teach us, O Lord, by your power. At the end, let only your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And let the people of God say, Amen. God bless you. Welcome to today's teaching. Today we are still looking at lessons from the life, life, life of Jochebed, part five, the life of Jochebed. And I'm sure you know this woman, the mother of Miriam, the mother of Moses, and the mother of Aaron, the woman that has given back to three great leaders. Uh, we have quite a lot to learn from her. And as we go, the Lord will open our understanding in Jesus' name. The memory verse, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, from verse 24. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, from verse 24. It says, Fruitful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Fruitful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Do it. So God call his people and make them fruitful. There is no body God created by mistake. Anyone created God has a vision and a mission for that person to accomplish. The more you realize who you are, the more you run quickly with your vision and make sure you fulfill your destiny. He says, fruitful is he that called you who also will do it. Is there anything God has asked you to do or whatever God has promised that he has not done? Nothing. Once he called you, he will fulfill that, the reason why he has called you. The motivational quote for today, God is ever faithful and can be trusted. God is ever faithful and can be trusted. If you hold your trust on any man, the person will regret whatever you have done. But the only person that can be trusted is the Almighty God. He's a very faithful God. He will never disappoint when you rely completely on Him. He's the, he's the hope for the hopeless and the Father for the fatherless. The prophetic word for today is a prayer. I pray for somebody God will always show up for you in the name of Jesus in every areas of your life. I pray the Almighty God will always show up for you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The fire scripture today is found in the book of Exodus chapter 2 from verse 1 to 10. I want you to take your Bible and read it through. May not be able to read all here but let me just tell you a little bit of what is in the scripture it's talking about the birth of moses the birth of moses exodus chapter 2 and read it from verse 1 to 10. the bible says and there went a man of the house of levi and took to wife a daughter of levi another daughter of levi and the woman conceived and bare a son. And when she saw him, that he was a goodly child, God blessed her with what she wanted. She loved what God gave to her. She hid him three months, three months. She hid the child three months. And when she could not longer hid him, she took for him an ark of Borishes, and also uh, he put it in a dimbled and also with a, with a slime and with pitch and put the child there in and she laid him in, she laid him in the flax 
by the rivers, by the river brink. She took the child, put it somewhere, put it in a kind of a, a small, a small bed, a small cage. And she put the child there, took the child to the riverside and laid the child by the river. She had actually kept the child for three months and she could not bear it. She was afraid that people would come around and get to know that she had this child. And because being an Hebrew woman, they have issues with the place where they are and they are limited to resources and they do not have much to take care of their children. So after giving birth to this child, she loved the child just like every mother, but she now put her in a bed, a small bed, and put the child by the riverside. And the sister stood afar off to look after the child and continue to watch. So on that fateful day, the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river. And her maids, they walk along by the riverside. And when she saw the ark among the flags, she sent a maid to go and fetch the ark for her. That's where Moses was kept, sent for her, sent a maid. Actually, the maids came with the Pharaoh's daughter. But it was Pharaoh's daughter that eventually saw the child. I pray that God will give you, he will, he will show the person that will be a blessing to you. He will reveal you to that person so that that person can be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. So Jochebed was that woman that was identified, uh, the Hebrew woman, the Hebrew midwives who saved the newborn baby, that baby boy, uh, who saved him that the Pharaoh, daughters of Pharaoh eventually discover, and uh, also the mother of Moses, the mother of the child. Like I told you earlier, the mother of Moses, the mother of Aaron, and the mother of Miriam. We can see God's action in this verse which we have read. We could see, we could see when God began to be a blessing to someone. We saw God's faithfulness, and uh, uh, in all what Jochebed was able to do, she faced a lot of trials. But we could see the faithfulness of God working along with her, and uh, the master planner, which is Jesus Christ. He saw everything that happened in the life of Jochebed and also in the life of her son. And you could see when Jochebed was tired of this, keeping this child for three months, he took her to the riverside. And uh, it was exactly that time that the daughter of Pharaoh was coming to take a bath. So, Jochebed has eaten Moses uh, for good three months. And you could you, be surprised that for keeping Moses for three months, nobody was able to detect Moses in her hand, despite the fact that uh, the baby will be crying sometimes, the baby will be making some noises sometimes, but uh, she was able to manage every situation and kept the child without being discovered by the people so that they would not come and kill the child. And then it is true that people might even be coming to greet her at that period, but she was able to keep the child so that nobody discover it and nobody come and come for destruction of the child. So that is... That was wonderful. And we thank God for the life of Jacob. Ed. And um, thank God for the boy. I want you to recall that moment 
you were at your wit's end. Sometimes there are people when they get to their wit's ends, and uh, people thought you are going to be put to shame. But when God is with you, the enemies are always defeated. There is no way when God is with you that your life is put to shame. It is my prayer for somebody here that as God has been guiding you and seeing you through, no evil shall befall you and the enemy will not put your life to shame in the name of Jesus. God kept Moses and God kept the mother of Moses. We are going to go on a short break. When we come back, we will look at the life of Jochebed more and more. God bless you as you stay tuned. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Live Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Welcome back. God bless you. We are still looking at the life of Jechebed. And we are looking at some lessons to learn from this woman. And then, like I told you, the enemy wanted to put her to shame, but God prevented her from entering from the enemy, prevailing over her destiny. And uh, people, like I told you, there are situations where you find yourself and people will think that it's going to end up in shame. But when God comes into action, the enemies are the ones that will be put to shame. So Jochebed hid Moses the same way God has been hiding you from destruction. So we thank God for the life of Jochebed. Also, God taught her to protect Moses. Wonderful. God taught her to protect Moses, a wonderful son. God gave her the wisdom to take Moses to the river bank. It's the wisdom of God. It's not our wisdom. When God decides to help you, He supplies everything that will see you through and He makes sure that you succeed at last. God gave her the wisdom to take Moses to the river bank. And God arranged helper for her to take care of Moses. God also taught the art of Moses' helper to help, despite the fact that this woman knew very well that uh, he was never one of them. He knew very well that Moses was never one of them. The moment she saw Moses, she knew that She's a Jew, an Hebrew boy. So God arranged also the mother to be the one to take care of his son, of, our, of her son. God arranged the mother. So there is nothing God cannot do. If God has decided to take good care of you, there is nothing the enemy can do about that. We give God all the glory for the life of Moses. And you see, when God began to move upon the heart of a pagan daughter, of a pagan king, 
the daughter of a pagan king, so that at the exact time the baby Moses laid by the river edge, Pharaoh's daughter came to this very place to take her own bath. God arranged this daughter of Pharaoh was never a uh, Hebrew to take care of uh, a Hebrew boy. And you can see what God can do. If God has decided to help you, there is nothing God cannot do to help you. He can go to any length and use anybody to be a helper of your destiny. And this is what happened in the life of Moses and this woman, the daughter of Pharaoh. You could see all what God did to help the family, arrange even the mother to take care of Moses. So Pharaoh's daughter came to the very place to take a bath and there was something supernatural and marvelous taking place here. You could see that this is God in action. The, 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 this was God responding to the faith of the mother of Moses. The mother of Moses had faith that at least this boy will not die. By the time she will take, her, take him to the river, the Lord will watch over him and God will raise helper for this boy and even for herself. And the faith was strong. You could see it's good to have a good faith and a strong faith, a positive one indeed. And that's what the mother of Moses had. Took her to the river bank and God was with her. With this faith of this mother, God provided Pharaoh's daughter to come and be of assistance to this family. And when the little boy was brought to Pharaoh's daughter, she saw that uh, it was a little Hebrew boy. She, could, she saw it. Even though they had in their blood to hate this kind of people, but uh, God put it in her that you have to take care of this boy. This is not the kind of person you use what is running in your blood to fight. And you could see the way God arranged it. We must remember that the young woman was the king's daughter. And that the hatred for the Israelites was already in, embedded in them. They have it. They have hatred for the Israelites. But by the time she saw Moses, she did not hate Moses. It was God that arranged it. So I pray that the person that will be a blessing to you, the Lord will use them for you in the name of Jesus. So the expected thing for her before to do was to have the little boy maybe tilted over into the water or maybe killed because in their blood, they, did not, they do not want to even see anyone that is called Israelite. But once again, we see God behind the scene. It is no other person but God. The scripture says, uh, it says that, and behold, the, the baby wept. Behold, the baby wept. The baby cried. According to what we read in Exodus chapter 2, verse 6, but God saw to it that the baby should weep at that very moment. At the moment when the helper will see him. So the baby wept and God arranged everything. Maybe, who don't know, maybe it's an angel that pinched the boy so that uh, the boy can cry at that moment. But Pharaoh's daughter, although a hidden, a hidden princess, he had a mother's instinct. And one thing that touches a woman's heart is no other thing but a crying baby. By the time she had the cry of that boy, she felt for him. She felt for him. And she decided to help the boy. To the extent that she now called on her, uh, the maids that were with her 
please fetch me somebody who can be a helper who can take care of this boy and those people told her we have the hebrew people knowing fully well that the boy is a hebrew boy say let's get a hebrew woman that will be able to take care of this hebrew boy and god also arranged the mother of moses to be the one to take care of her son and not only that she was now being paid for taking care of her son. The money which she never had to take care of her, she was now being given by somebody to take care of her son. You can see the way God works and you can see the way God uses the mother because of her faith, her faith in God, that I believe that God will be there for me and God will see me through. And I believe that this child will not die. The Lord will raise helpers for him. And God did exactly that. And the man, the woman was happy at the end. She was being paid for taking care of her own son. And Pharaoh's daughter did not know that the person taking care of the boy was actually the mother. You can see the way God can arrange a helper for somebody. And God made the woman so happy. You will imagine the kind of care Moses will get from her, from his own mother. You will imagine the kind of care he will get from him, from her. What a wonderful care. God arranged the boy. God arranged the mother. God arranged Pharaoh's daughter. Even arranged the mates to make sure, even the person that called for the mate, to make sure that everything worked together for good for the life of Moses to be a blessing. We are going to go on a very short break again. By the time we come, we come and conclude this wonderful teaching, the life of Jezebel. And I'm sure you are learning a lot from this woman. God bless you until we come back. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live, for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Live Daily Devotional, Volume 9, a life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. God bless you. Welcome back. We are still learning some lessons from the life of Jezebel, the mother of Moses, the mother of Aaron, the mother of Miriam. I've been telling you what God has used this woman to do and a lot of lessons to learn from this woman. Look at her faith that a child shall not die. Look at her faith that God will protect the child. Look at her faith going for to, to where a helper will arise for the child. And God arranged everything that will be a blessing to Moses. So the birth of Moses actually was a wonder because uh, the time he was born, uh, if not that God was with the family, they would have killed Moses. Because they really do not want a Hebrew woman 
to have any child and survive with that child. So they were watching for anything that will happen to them so that they will know how to punish them. But God kept Moses with his mother for three months. The woman with wisdom was able to manage the child for three months after giving back to a goodly baby boy, a, a baby boy. And he so much loved the boy, protected him. The boy would cry sometimes, but he protected the noise from getting out so that people would not come and say, there is a child crying in this place. Definitely, they have some visitors coming their way, come to their house, but notwithstanding, she still protected the boy. And at the time when God says, take this child out and, and then meet with a helper, she arranged the boy, put him in a bed, a small bed, and took him to the river bank. And there, coincidentally, as arranged by the Almighty God, the daughter of, Moses, of Pharaoh was coming to take her back. And uh, she got there, saw the child in the, in the, uh, in the lying in the bed, and she called for the boy. And by the time she called for the boy, she had compassion upon, upon the boy. Even though by their training, according to what they were trained to be, according to what was injected in their blood. They are not to spare any Hebrew boy, not to talk of taking care of them. But God was with Moses, and uh, God touches the heart of this woman. You see, some, something happened. Uh, when woman uh, hear the cry of a baby, at times when you hear the cry of a baby, if you have the instinct of mother, motherhood in you, you will have feeling for that child. And uh, at any time, uh, at any rate, Pharaoh's daughter was determined to adopt and protect this particular Hebrew boy because that is the way God has arranged it. So God's purpose in redeeming Israel depended uh, it depended on that very moment of the helpless cry of this little boy. By the time the boy cried, the cry of the little child arose the maternal instinct of Pharaoh's daughter and uh, baby Moses was now spared. God was able to preserve baby Moses. Beloved, God works in a mysterious ways far beyond our own logic god can be relied upon at all times and i pray that god will make us mysterious wonders in the mighty name of jesus quite a lot of lessons to learn from this woman is it a faith is it a zeal is it a prayers is it a care because she's a wonderful woman she's a great mother and God could see her heart and protected all her children until they all become they all became leaders and they are proud people that people are proud of today, even in the scripture. I pray that God will make you a mother that will be a blessing to your children and that will be a, a blessing to all the people around you. Uh, we want to thank God for today. We have some prayers to pray. I want you to close your eyes and say, I shall not lack divine presence in my journey in life in the name of Jesus. I shall not lack divine presence in my journey in life in the name of Jesus. Say this one, say, my father, answer your name in my life all the time in the name of Jesus. Father, answer your name in my life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you richly. I'm sure you have had a wonderful time today. Until we come your way next time, remain in the firm grips of the Lord. Please stay tuned. Until we come your way, remain blessed. Bye for now. Jesus is Lord.
God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.